I enjoyed the result, you know, I enjoyed the first half actually. We, we took the elements tonight, took the wind and uh, scored a couple of goals, a couple of good goals. Mike Ramsey already a wee bit of a deflection, but he struck it well. Uh, and a good controlled goal for uh, Scully Linton to finish, you know. So, pleased with that. I could have done my third one, to be honest with you. Greg Stewart nearly nearly made it three just in half time, just past the post. But we knew we were going to be up it against the second half. The day would do to us what, what we did to them, just pin them in. The goalkeeper couldn't get any length on his kicks, so we managed to to pin them in, uh, but at the same time they still they still had a couple of chances the first half, so they did so. But it gave us hope anyway at half time, and we knew we were going to be up against the second half, and, and knew Jimmy called it as well. I know style, and and the new with it was still two over half an hour to go, he would just bomb everybody on, go two four four. So we stood up to it. There were some good individual performances, uh, which I won't single out, but as a team collectively, I thought they were they were excellent, and and they got. They got what they deserved, you know, because you know there was a, a real determination to make sure we didn't get beat tonight, and a real determination to, to win the game. Uh, we've got some really good results against Dundee, uh, both got good performances. How vital was it that you got a win tonight against Ross County? Well, I said before, this, I've never been like this all season, you know, I just want the boys to go out, do the best I can, get the ball down as much as I can. The conditions didn't allow it for the last couple of games, we've played some good football recently. Uh, but I just said that it's a must-win game. We must win this game. We can't afford Ross County to get a seven-point cushion on us with, with so few games left, you know. So it gives us hope, gives us a fighting chance. And we'll just get them freshened up and, and, and ready for uh, Wraith Rovers at the weekend, you know. They're on a high, as we know. They've been there practically all season. So it's going to be difficult, but we played really well against them in the second half. At their place, the last fixture, we, we lost 2-1, but I was chuffed to pitch with them that night. And, uh, and I'm just hopefully hoping on Thursday night with no more added injuries and we'll get them freshened up for a difficult game against Wraith but it's a game I might get something out of you. Uh, looking towards the end of the season, do you think this will could come down to the last game of the season against Ross County? Think well? well, unless we go to Wraith Rovers and get three points and Jimmy doesn't win with Ross County, unless we play Queen of South and get three points. <laughs> so if I get anything out of the Wraith game and the Queen of South game, going into Stirling Albion and uh, Ross County away, it would be great then. You know, if somebody said to me at this stage of the season, you know, you're going up to Ross County and a point will do you or whatever, that'd be great. That if I have to go to Ross County and beat them to finish eighth, if that's what we've got to do, that's what we've got to do, you know. But whatever pans out for the rest of the season, it hasn't been for lack of, lack of time from the players and the effort and the commitment they've shown. Do you enjoy coming up, come up against uh, Jimmy Calderwood? Well, I enjoyed the three points, you know, but it, and that's it basically, you know. What it, I just wish the two of us were in a safe position in the league, and I wish the two of us were, but, uh, you know, not so much. There's so much at stake in this game tonight, you know. You can't really relax, you know. You're contesting every ball, you're fighting for every decision, and, and in the end, we just held on, you know. So, but he'll be confident. Jimmy will be confident that he'll he'll be able to do enough to finish it, and, and we'll be confident that we can catch him. And last question: What's the feeling like in the squad just now? Just um, the dressing room going for the last. Well, I've been coming in the last five, six weeks, ever since the second half of Wraith Rovers, even though we got beat. You know, we had a terrible middle section, so we did, we lost seven, eight in a row, never scored any goals. Went to Wraith Rovers, hoping to do something there. I was confident to do something there. I'd seen them against Party Thistle and they got beat, and I was confident doing something. We did nothing until the second half. And since then, you know, the players that have come in, John Robertson especially, who feels a wee bit aggrieved he hasn't played, he's come in, his energy levels, his football and brain, everything. It's been good. Greg Stewart was banging in goals five in a row. Stevie Crawford still for his age, still doing well for us. You know, we still got experienced players to come back like Lee Makel, Colin Cameron, these boys, and we've got just a nice wee play in now. But really, Davy Hay in the back four. They're working hard as a team, but you know, you would have thought that was a makeshift back four that we were looking at because normally John Armstrong plays big Joe if he was fit would have played. Bob and Malcolm would have been a part of things, but all these boys are out. So I've got to give credit to Divi Hay, Big A Turi and, and Kenny Adamson and uh, young Thomas O'Brien of course, you know, Richie Vaughan when they had to step in. They're giving us a chance to win a game of football. They're all working hard, but people would have looked at it and thought, God, with all the big boys out then, you know, we're going to struggle. But they've stood up the challenge and they've, they've got themselves in a good position.